people need to know it is not in their hands because you know what power belongs to the people anything we want is what we're going to get once again i want to ask this do you think this dream is realizable without a war and are you prepared to fight another war this dream can be realized without a war and let me put it this way as soon as the people the various ethnic groups in nigeria realize what nigeria means to each and every ethnic group they will subscribe to our position so it is realizable without a war before the white man came let me ask you this because it's an interview which means you can ask me because i can ask you before the white man came was there any nigeria before the white man came did nigeria exist it's a simple question that i'm asking you Dele, did nigeria exist before it didn't no it didn't exist then why are african people black people dying over something that they did not create did any Yoruba man create Nigeria? The answer is no. No Yoruba man created Nigeria. No Hausa man did. No Fulani man did. No Kanodi man did. No Jukun man did. When you come to Nigeria, it's always a debate about it is our turn. It is our turn. It is our turn to rule. Now, there are over 250 main ethnic groups in Nigeria. If you keep rotating the presidency every eight years to each and every ethnic group, times eight by 250, how many years are you going to get? So some people will die many times over. They will reincarnate many times over. The presidency hasn't come to them. Nigeria is a joke and an absolute mess. It was not created by black people. Therefore, it cannot be sustained by black people. I want to see an Africa where a Yoruba nation, a Yoruba mega nation extends from Togo all the way to a do state that's what i want because that is authentic africa i don't know why africans are so beholden to something that's alien to them are you a white man the look at that created nigeria is a white man what 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 are you doing as an african defending something that a white man created out of should i say a racist intent nigeria was an ordinary company royal niger company an ordinary business um, venture that the British converted into a nation. And Africans are killing themselves, trying to maintain something that a white man created. Sometimes I wonder what type of God made African people. I don't understand it. And that is why you have this neocolonialism. That is why the British High Commissioner had to go to Tinubu to ask him, how do you end this protest? Because if this protest continues, you're jeopardizing our oil. Now the kind of can, can use it as an advantage to go and get Biafra. They ask the army to go in and kill people. You people are being ruled by your colonial masters. Your faith is not in your hand. You're in a country that is 60 years old, so to speak. There is no electricity. If I am a Nigerian, I should be ashamed. I can't come out and say I'm a Nigerian. I'll be ashamed of myself. For 60 years, you have no electricity. For 60 years, no good roads. For 60 years, no good schools. For 60 years, your politicians are traveling abroad for medical treatment. I ask you, what is there to be proud of about Nigeria? Name one thing you can be proud of. Name one thing. Is a question I'm asking you, Dele. Tell oh. me one thing you can be proud of in Nigeria. Nigerians are amongst the brightest people in the world, including the Igbo people of, of which you are one. You are a very brilliant man. <laughs> that is Nigeria in your DNA. <laughs> I was born a Biafran, not a Nigerian. Nigeria is is, yeah, is a historical was mistake. Was there a birth certificate at that time that wrote Biafra on it? Of course, yes. My, you want me to show you? I will show it to you. I can I can email it to you. It's not here with me right now. I can email it to you. My my person is to Biafra. I don't mind. I will email it to you. So you see, what I'm asking is, if Nigeria, if Nigeria never existed until the white man came, why are you, as a black African man, defending it? What's a white man created? Why? 
when you have Yoruba in Benin Republic. Yoruba is in Togo. They speak your language. They eat your food. They dress the same way you do. You have the same culture, the same value system, the same orientation. And I'm asking you. And the white man came from Europe and said, oh, you are Yoruba from Togo. You, you speak French. You are Yoruba from Benin Republic. You're going to speak French. But you, Dele, you are Yoruba from Nigeria. You speak English. Are people not put off by that? That level of dehumanization, that level of subjugation. You see, the one thing that shocks me about Africa and their, and their class of intellectuals is the fact that they are willing to swallow hook, line, and sinker anything the colonial master gives to them. And I've asked you this very question. Can you go to Europe and create a country as a black man? The answer is no. Then why must you accept what a white man is doing in Africa? Do you see why we are poor and very backwards? Do you see why Nigeria can never have 24 hours of electricity? Never, ever, ever, ever. Because the foundation is faulty. The orientation of Fulani Janja, people were protesting SARS killings in the South. Fulani people in the North were busy having fun and laughing and smiling. And you want to be in some country with them. Your value system, your reasoning, your understanding, your orientation is ne can never ever be the same. Never be the same. Why did Britain leave the EU? Then I'm asking you, are they not Christians? Are they not Democrats? Are they not, are they not, uh, don't they believe in free trade and voting people in and voting them out? But then why did Britain leave the EU? Why? The same Britain that left the EU is asking me not to leave Nigeria. Nigeria that was only, is only 100 years old. Your grandfather was not a Nigerian. Was not. So why must you throw away the history of your family? The history, the rich history of your people? Because a white man called the place Nigeria. Why must you do that? Why? Can I go to England and name them, uh, and, and, and name them Albania? And say, all your history is now gone. We are doing our ancestors a disservice. And let me tell you why black Africa cannot go forward. You, some people, not you, some people accepted this nonsensical balkanization of Africa with their useless flag independence. And your ancestors are in the grave. Your ancestors that existed before the white man was born, they are in the grave. You, you jettison their history and their identity. You banish it. You denigrate it. You insult them by accepting this garbage called Nigeria, and you want them to be happy with you. That is why no black African country can see development. No black 